Many fish. 3rd December 2017. And uh, here we go. I got uh, this article from my headline generator here. Argentina chasing new lead in search for missing submarine. And uh, this is posted yesterday at 4.14 p.m. And it's regarding the sub that went missing with the 44 crew on November 15th. They've now employed an unmanned Russian submersible to help look for it. And it spotted an image yesterday, about 60 meters long. And the, the ARA San Juan is 66 meters long. 11 times 6. 11 times 4. It's 477 meters deep. 11, 11. 1,565 feet. 11, 11. And I just point these out because they're there. This is what I see. So I'm thinking, okay, I got to go back and look at the articles that I had seen on this before. And I do. So I pull them up. And this one's from the 20th. The search was uh, just a few days old. And they were having some rough seas. And there's their little sun symbol they pray to and again the 44 the 22 foot seas it goes through all the rigmarole but down here it starts to talk about how several submarines have vanished over the years leaving mysteries that have lasted decades may 27 1968 the uss scorpion failed to report return to port sinking 11,000 220 feet beneath the Atlantic along with its 99 crew okay 11 11 11 9 9 okay we got a pattern here again is it a rabbit trail no I prayed on this this is this is going somewhere stick with me <laughs> so we have these links look here even in the shares on this uh this oops I didn't mean to do that I hate uh Twitter or whatever it is get out of here but yeah that was even 119 little loves or whatever it's just crazy okay so we see the 11s we see the everything and what this causes me to want to do is find out more about this ARA San Juan and the only thing I can really come up with without super searching is a wiki that's in Spanish <laughs> but that's really kind of all I need because they talk about the 44 they already got that in the wiki it's not even over with yet and you know the submarine itself has a lot of different things we could look at how, the dates it was made who made it the whole thing right but what caught my eye really down here this states the the uh how many crew right and this is eight officers and 29 crew that's what this sub is supposed to have and if you talk to any Navy man, especially a submariner, he will tell you that doesn't happen that there be more people. It just doesn't. When it when that vessel is assigned eight officers and 29 crew, that's what it gets. No more, no less. And this sub supposedly has seven more people than it's supposed to have on it to make a nice, even 44. Why 44? I don't know. But in that article about um, this one here about the other sub sinking when we look at this scorpion right let's see did I already show you that this is how quick I get lost the USS scorpion 1120 we go and look at the scorpion now there's all kinds of stuff here too first of all the scorpions a kind of funny name reminded me immediately of Revelation 9 but you know, 589, 22 again. Uh, some numbers on here too when it was commissioned and built. And even the insignia here. There's all kinds of stuff. But what really caught my attention was right here. This sub had two Mark 45 torpedoes on it. That are supposed to, supposedly still there. Mark 45, 9. Mark 9 torpedo. Okay. And all I really saw here, right? Check this out. The bombs themselves yield 11 kilotons of blast. The diameter of them is 19 inches. And the length 
is 227. 9-11-1-9-11. I mean, you can't make this up. So I go back to the, uh, the San Juan. And I can't read Spanish. I'm trying to like, where's the link here? And check this out. This is what hit me. Duh. San Juan. That is also St. John. John the Apostle. The same Apostle who wrote the book of Revelation. Okay? So now that kind of puts a little bit of a different spin on it. Right? So I'm, San Juan... S is a 1 in numerology, 142. That makes me want to go to John 42, or John 142, rather. Let's see. So I do that, and I've been a lot of places since, but let's start here. I'll give you a little context on it. This is when Peter, Peter is first introduced to Jesus for the first time with his brother. Um... One of the two which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first findeth his own brother Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is, being interpreted, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus, and when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is, by interpretation, a stone. So we're back at Peter. Do you remember Peter? We talked about a lot last week or so about how he was crucified to glorify God, to turning of things upside down and so forth. Okay, so this brings us right back to Peter. This is like right where he first met Peter. And we talked about the keys. And this is what connects us to John. If we if we go to it, it comes full circle. In other words, watch, I'll show you. So we look up the keys because Peter was the one he gave him the keys. And the fact of the matter is, is that keys are only mentioned mentioned twice in the entirety of the King James Bible. According to Esau here, I believe it, and it's they're both Jesus. And the one is, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Remember from last week, 16, 19, upside down and backwards. And the other verse is Revelation, one of John's writings. 118, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of the of hell and of death. Okay? So, if we go, we, this directly links us back to Peter. The keys, obviously. So we go to Matthew 16, 19 to get some context on that. Right? And that's when... Jesus asked them, you know, who do men say I am? And they, oh, John the Baptist, Elias. And Peter says, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. This is key. And Jesus answered and said unto him, blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my father, which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay? And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Well, what are the other keys? He has the keys of hell and of death. The gates of hell shall not prevail against this church. Who? What's the church? Jesus is the church. What's the key? Jesus is the key. Why did he give Peter a set of keys? Well, because the other key was shown in his death. The upside down nature of the world. That you need to turn upside down. He was not given the, given that by flesh and blood. He was giving it, given it by the Father which is in heaven, which is the Word, which is the scripture. This is how you come to know the kingdom of heaven. The keys. And I sincerely hope this is making sense to you. It's just amazing what we are led to. You know what I mean? And as far as this sub stuff, I don't know, man. ARA, that's 9-11. Uh, as far as it's uh, being used for some nefarious purpose, it very well could be. It very well could be. Who knows with these people? The scorpion, that really kind of 
that really kind of got me a little bit because, I mean, we're getting right into Revelation to John's book of Revelation. Revelation 9, folks. The scorpion, the locusts. Oh, boy. All I know is that you got to get right with God. Because we are there, folks. And, you know, when is that day? That's for God to know. I'm given my portion, and I share it with you. And as a body, we're able to understand that God is speaking to us. And he's comforting us. And he's telling us, yes, time is short. But I have you. You're safe. Because we know. We know we're safe. We know whose hands we're in. We know it. He tells us over and over and over again. So, if you don't know Christ, please seek him today. Humbly, sincerely. He will hear you. And he'll show you the truth. So, peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 